So, oh, yeah. so that that is the reason I'm saying it, this is a good example. Yeah, exactly, that's exactly. Yeah. So this the example of this gentleman here, Greg. Yes, it's like a person who is who is using a metal yeah. detector in order for him to identify plastic. He's using the wrong tool. He's using the tool of science which has limited scope for something that is metaphysical in nature. I yeah. think he was like your consciousness. Fair point. That's yeah. a very fair point. I yeah. think he was actually Thank wrong you. about Einstein too. Because I read once Einstein was asked about uh, whether the universe was chaotic. Yeah. And he answered, God doesn't make mistakes. And when you've got, and I read the um, the, the Stephen Hawking book, um, A Brief History of Time. Oh, and it, it's Good a great book. book. And in that they do talk about God, scientists, because when they're accepting there was a starting point of creation, they're accepting a creator. So they're accepting yeah, God. But the definition of a creator varies from <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, God's just a word. It could be in yeah. yeah, so he, his, the universe. his idea of God was not it's just a load so of he, he was making the assertion that Einstein did not believe in a personal God, but a pantheistic God. Yeah. 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 So in other a words, he's, he's, he's like a creator. He's, uh, I mean, just he's a, word, a theist. Right? He's not an atheist. He's still a theist. If you're a panthe, if you believe in a pantheistic God, you're, you're a theist. Yeah. You're not an atheist. Right. God, God's just a word. I mean, I could replace the word God. Yeah. With there's different concepts of God. You're right. Source energy, the universe. Yeah. So people get so hung up on the word God, but you know, when when you're accepting that, you know, the, the, the big big bang theory, a start of the creation, you are accepting a creator. The only um, the only op opposing view would be if time and space always was. Yeah. There was no starting point. Absolutely. But they don't believe that science. Science have accepted this idea of the big bang theory. So they are accepting a creator of yeah. sorts. Right? And and the, and when the reason he didn't bring the big bang theory is that because we know that the big bang. Record anymore? Is it? Or uh, that's fine, yeah. Oh, okay. As long as you guys are okay with that. Yeah. So, the Big Bang Theory is something which is the most accepted model of the origin of the universe. Yeah. Okay. The reason he actually didn't want to bring that up is because you know that it has a start, and obviously anything that is uh, like the, anything that is uh, lim uh, limited in scope, like the universe, it has an end as well. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Must do. Yeah. So what he did was he actually did this, um, uh, sorry, he actually brought in a model which is the least accepted among the scientists, which is called the cyclic universe. That means it expands and collapses, expands and collapses, for which there is no evidence. So there is no evidence that once a universe collapses, it, it, it starts a cycle again. There's no evidence. So this is just something which is, uh, what do you say, it's, it's more like um, a guess yeah. as, at best. Yes, not even um, not not even um, a postulation with evidence because when you postulate the theory, you need to substantiate it. The reason many people actually bring this in is because they know that God is eternal, so they have to bring in something eternal to counter it. And what they do, they bring in the least, what do you say, uh, the the least uh, skeptical accepted model for the origin of universe, which is this cyclic universe. So anyone who has read about the cyclic universe, they they should they would know that the uh, what entropy is something because of entropy the the cycles become bigger and bigger. Yes. What that means is that at at one point these cycles were much smaller as you go back in time. It goes to a point where it says that there was there was one there was a beginning of the cycle. That means it's not eternal. So even from that perspective. Yes, if he had done his homework, he would know that. He didn't even know the meaning of entropy when I asked him the first time. He said heat or something like that. Was he a scientist? Or? He says he's into physics. Right. But these are all things which you learn in basic it's physics. It's a hobby, a pastime? Whatever it is. He said he was better than Newton. <laughs> That's what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. So this is ego. Your, when your ego plays in, then it clouds your judgment. And this is what happens. Unfortunately, when you actually start saying things like, I'm a better scientist, or I know, I know more than Newton. No, he wasn't. He was pretty serious no, about it. What he was, <laughs> yeah. No, he wasn't. Uh, he was pretty serious about it because what he was saying is that since Newton died, we have had many discoveries. So we know a lot more things than Newton. Obviously, you would, but no one would compare Newton, uh, not being a scientist or not being a great scientist, and saying I'm better than Newton. I mean, this is just ego, if you ask me. No, so, from, his from his perspective, he might be. Though. He might be what? Like, from his perspective, he might be. Better. But from his perspective, he could be like ten yeah. feet tall. You know, that doesn't make it true. Yeah, yeah but, it, it, but it's, that's what that's what we consider reality because reality is, is sub, in a way subjective because. Reality is not subjective. Who told you that? In a way, it is. What do you mean I'll, in a way? I will explain to you how it is. Are you real for? Are you for real? 
but it could, there is a possibility that we could be in a simulation. But is it is it more probable? Probably not because there is there's not really much evidence to say. Yeah, that but there is. where is the? What do you mean? Not much evidence. There is zero evidence that you could just be a figment of my imagination. That's a possibility. It's a possi no, it's not a possibility. How, I wouldn't, how would you say, on what basis would you say there's a possibility? Well, wouldn't you agree on that all things are equally possible? No. No. There are certain things which are observable facts. You cannot deny Maybe that. Maybe in otherwise, do you otherwise, other dimensions? Uh, uh, do you believe in okay. other dimensions? Do you no? believe that the earth could be flat? Do you believe in other dimensions? Yes, I do. Okay, so then all the possibilities must be equally equal. Not all the possible. What do you mean all possible? I mean, do you think it's possible for the earth to be flat? How is that relevant? No, you said everything is possible. Well, we maybe maybe, maybe in some flat. dimension. So you could be a flat is. earther. I'm speaking to. Well, it, it, See what I mean? If we're talking about reality. What no, you need to. You need to look. You need to. You need to accept one thing. Man. There are things which are real, and there are things which are unreal. Okay. But how, but how do you define that? Well, it's, 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 it's very simple. I mean, if you do not, then what is the point of us even talking? If things are unreal. But, that's the whole but you wouldn't know. That's the whole you wouldn't know, though. Israel. Would you know? If then you are. You are far. If you guys don't even know your existence, then you are far removed from your reality of this world. The world you can see is real. Well, anything, uh, anything which you can perceive okay. as being factual. For example, so if I, I were to ask can you, I ask you a question. Do you know of the experiment with the hand? Do you know that experiment? Yeah. Where they pull a yeah. fake hand. Right. What you're perceiving is a perception. Is a touch, right? But that's not even a real hand. So how is that real? How do you feel yeah. the sensation? How is that real? How do you feel the sensation? Yeah, if it's like not I said, real. It's, it's because and then when you hit it with a yeah. hammer, they take their hand out. Yeah, it's because right, they feel the pain. No, no, no. Is they don't, real they don't feel the pain. Not real or no, no, they don't feel the pain. Why do they? What they do is the reason is because of mm. their of the uh, because they're frightened of being hurt. If something so, frightened of something unreal, so it doesn't. Let let me let, let me let me I let me tell you what. Real. If you are if it's you have been indoctrinated to such an extent where you mm. you fear certain things. For example, many people fear fear the darkness. Yes. yes, just because you switch off the light, mm -hmm. they feel afraid. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is the way they have been indoctrinated but to such an extent. So, so it's an illusion? So are you no, no, it's not an illusion. For in their mind, in their mind, the, the fear is real. Exactly, that's the okay. whole point. Wait, 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 wait a minute. It's not real. No, no, it's real. In their mind, the they, they think the that the fear is real. But the reality, but the reality is the concept. It's exactly. Like, it's the illusion, concept. the illusion of the concept that they have created in the mind. Remember, they have okay. created this. So it's not, it's real. not real. They have so created couldn't this. Couldn't you have created this? So how would you define no. real? Then? You could not so have. Real. No. If you look, if you guys do not, if, if you don't know how to differentiate between reality and something which is an illusion, then you do not even exist. Well, give us the definition of trust, of, of truth. Tr truth and reality is truth, right? Well, so what would be reality is truth? truth. Whether you believe it or not, the reality will exist. So for example, there are many flat, look, look, there are many people who believe that the earth is flat. Yes, but the reality is different. Yes, we know, we know that, unless you guys are flat earthers here. <laughs> so even though they say this is a fact, by the way, they do say it's a fact, isn't it? Those flat earthers. Yeah. They say, yes, the earth is flat. But is that real? But see, I think so just because they believe something is a fact doesn't make it real. You're getting too caught on the technicality. You can't no, I'm not. Technical. I'm giving you demonstrate. No, no, I'm, I'm with you. But I just want you to branch out, open your brain a little bit and just open the possibility that maybe just have a you know? My friend, if you branch out to where you don't know the difference between reality and uh, unreal, then that is something that is your prerogative, not mine. Oh no, I'm just <laughs> it's an invitation. It's, an, it's simply an invitation. Well, if you want to have that, I know you invited me, but I reject your invitation. That's all right. That because I'm in touch with my reality. If you're not, Fair that's enough. a different thing. Fair enough. Maybe you should go see a doctor. I mean, maybe. Maybe. I'm no, honestly, we have to. Because <laughs> you, you see, real? if if yeah. if human beings do not understand the reality and something which is just an illusion, mm -hmm. then you deny everything. You wouldn't be accepting anything. What? You would be a super skeptical individual who would never have peace of mind. But there's got to be because you think everything is unreal. Is my mom real? Is my dad real? Are my children real? Is my family real? You know, like where does it end? Yeah. So there's got to be a yeah. definition. That's what I would define about reality. reality as yeah, truth. Was that? And that's how would you define? Yeah, I mean, no, there's got to be a definition. I, yeah, so exactly. I would define reality yeah. as truth. And how, how no, but whose reality? Who? Like I said, the flat earth's reality is different to yours and mine. Exactly. But it's not yes, true. but that doesn't mean it's the truth. But it's not true. Okay. To whom? Do we all see? Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Just, just one sec. Just one sec. Just one sec. To whom is not the truth? To us or to them? Um, answer me this: Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different realities? Do we all experience different the similarities in the reality? No, 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 no. Answer my question with a yes or no. Not do we? Not in everything. 
Not in everything. Okay. There are certain things, for example, if I asked you, okay. if I asked you, are you a human? But we're all playing a different What? Movie. You don't know you are human or not? Are you? Could you be a monkey? So it's subjective. You could. Who knows? You could be. All the possibilities are Then you don't know it was a monkey. <laughs> if you don't know the difference between a monkey and a human, then you got a lot. You need a lot of help, my brother. But that's a good point, actually. What's so that? What is objective truth? Uh, objective truth. Okay, so object, I'll give you an example. I'll demonstrate an objective truth to you. By the way, you asked a question that our realities are different. Very good. Okay? Okay. So I'll give you an example. Imagine you go to a room where the temperature is a bit cold for you. You enter the same room, but for you it's perfectly room temperature. It's not cold, not too warm, not too hot. It's just perfect for you. You both enter the same room. Now, how do I ascertain what the temperature of the room is? Any guesses? Thermometer. Thank you. That is the objective truth. Because the thermometer reading, regardless of what you feel or what you feel, will give me an objective uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, then give me the objective what? truth and the, and okay. the exact okay. measure okay. of the temperature a, of the room. What is your thermometer? Does that answer your question? What is the thermometer the that you use to, to measure this? What is the thermometer? Don't try to. What is the thermometer that you What is the thermometer that you use to measure this? What, uh, what gives you the objective? Well, let me oh, you mean measure what? To measure the right, reality. Yeah, well, yes. let me put this oh my God! Let me, let Seriously? Let me put this yes, so you answer my question. Yes, you never answer good questions because you know it's going to you. But you, you think your question is good? Well, whether it's good or not. Question. I've already answered your question. Did you not? Look, my reality, the reason, you know, that thermometer. Did you believe in the measurement of the thermometer? Yes. You did. Why is that? But then I asked no, no, the question. Why is that? Why did you believe that thermometer reading? Because that's one dimensional. I didn't ask you, I'm asking him. Oh, you're so Yes, I am. You got your answer. I actually want to get rid of you. But it's not going to work. What's the answer? Yeah. So, why did you believe the thermometer reading? Because it's objective. Because? It's objective. Why is it objective? You tell me. Well, you said it's objective, so tell me why it's objective. Because you know what objective means, right? Yeah, what is it? I have to explain why it's objective. No, no, why? Yeah, what is the objective definition in this case? The objective definition of this case is that you measure the heat with the term thermometer. No, but why is it objective? Because you can prove it. You know why? Because it doesn't matter where you take that evidence, it is something that everyone will accept because there is no bias here in terms of your wait, wait, of your subjective understanding of the temperature of the room or your so it doesn't matter where you take it. That same what do you say? That same instrument is going to be the evidence for anyone and everyone, doesn't matter who it is. Okay? Now that's the reason it's objective. Now without you being conscious of your environment, will you be able to take that reading? May I think you're fumbling yourself. No, I'm not. Sorry. I'm not. Answer the question. I, 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 need to, I need to understand the question. I need to make sense. You don't answer the What? Questions. Your consciousness? <laughs> no. Which part doesn't make sense? You're, I'm, I'm that you being conscious to be reading, reading. If, I, if, I, if, you, like, if you were just, all that the reason you're here. <laughs> that's why I'm standing behind. You. Yeah, that's where you belong. Okay, but carry on. It, it's a clown. <laughs> when did you grow up? I thought you might have grown up by now. Choose a question. But why are you standing next to a clown? Then? Because I enjoy entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So you are in a circus. Beat that one. Well, <laughs> at the moment. But I'm the ringmaster, so you left. shut up. Yes. <laughs> I'm the ring master, shut up. Okay, go, so go on. So it's a okay, question. My, yeah, okay. go on. It's a go question. On. So there's five of us stood here now in a yeah. conversation. Mm. But, you know, we're all, all on the same kind of uh, space time mm. continuum, right? the same kind of dimension. But we're all playing a completely different movie in our heads. Mm. You know, your yeah. belief is different to my belief. So where's the objective truth there? Who decides what the Where's the thermometer? Truth is? That Where is, is it? Look, look. You, when you when you when you don't even when you are unsure about your reality about whether you live in a real world whether you yourself are real then I think you're far lost and cut okay. off from the reality Wait, let me, let me, let me question. Me where is the certainty? Sorry, I'm sorry. Just, I'm just put, go ahead let me put this you were pretty word, certain so. about the reading of the instrument which is no, called actually, the thermometer what, without you being what, what, real was, about your own self what I was let certain put, of is the, is the uncertainty I'm certain of the uncertainty are you certain you exist do I exist? Do you exist? See what Are I mean? Here? So, this guy is super skeptical. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I so, think he needs help. So I could say that. I, um, I could say we don't don't help. believe no, the word no, I say. No, no, speak for yourself. I'm coming you don't from. Need <laughs> any help. Oh, all right. See, that's say, the first not, problem. Not in identifying not between in anything, the reality and unreal. Not admitting so, the problem is the first so problem. So I could say. So you admit you don't even know you exist. 
No, but there is a difference between a what, what happened to that grin? and an individual reality. <laughs> Look so at that grin. So I could, I could no, no, honestly, a person, well, I could a person needs help seriously if they cannot differentiate well, between the real world and something which is imaginary. Well, let me say this. Because that is called psychotic problems. Well, let, me, let, let, me, let, me, let me say this. I can say, you know, don't yeah. believe a word well, I say because I'm coming from my truth. I'm not representing from myself as telling the truth, but my truth. And you would have your truth. And who's to say one is right and one is wrong? We're all coming from yeah. our truth and our, our perspective. What are you talking about? So what, Which pers- so, because that, this is a conversation, conversation saying, not an argument. Well, on, by the way, I'm talking to him. Stop interrupting. I think I'm saying. Okay, go on. The arrogance of the man. My question is to him, not to you. So which reality are you talking about? I think I'm saying that. You which reality are you talking about? Well, you don't get that's it, your views. It I think I'm saying that. It's, what? It, it can only be subjective truth. Comes. Why? Why is truth subjective? Truths? I well, just give you the example. The right. I, I gave you the, the example. Truth? So what is you the have your truth. truth. I think you're just here to joke. Very right. no, okay. I'm you know, you know. Initially, I thought you were someone who was, who was someone who is worth talking to. But now you have, I've realized that you're not even aware that you exist or not. So okay, so go find that out I first. Think what I'm saying is, it's yeah. subjective truth oh, only. Sure. No, 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 no. Very very do, you, do you remember that I gave you when you asked me about the subjective? Well, right? How do you Am differentiate right between you objective truth, truth and subjective well, truth? I gave you the example of the thermometer. Do you believe that is subjective truth? Well, it's it's objective. It's if it's independent. No, no. Is it an objective truth? The reading well, of the thermometer. In, in, in that case, in that case, I'll, I'd have to say yes. But what's the objective? There you go. Truth That's your answer. In then. our beliefs and our, our perspective. Okay. Now you're talking about the beliefs. See, now you now this is a different. Well, yeah, uh, a different question. topic. Exactly. So it's there are things you will agree which are objective truths out there which yeah. we all recognize. For example, the temperature yeah. reading from a thermometer. Okay. This is an objective truth. So the answer is subjective. It's no, subjective no, no. Truth. Not every no truth objective. is subjective. Okay. No there are truths which are which right, which are wrong. objective. Wrong, For example, right. if I ask you about the shape of the earth, you're going to tell me it's flat. You really like this. What flat if I believe earth? that? Yeah. What do you say it's flat? Well, I mean, my, my so these are so belief, these are right? things so which we all right. accept because s- sometimes what you see, yes, it's not. Is that? I want it over there. No, no, we're ignoring me anyway. Don't worry. Do we say we? Is that the royal we? It is, yeah. Oh, right. So what I'm saying, what I'm saying, to the royal shit. <laughs> well, that will be you, <laughs> which I'm ignoring. Thank you. So what I'm saying here is that. Ignoring it that but, way. By the way, <laughs> have you? Do you believe that objective truth or you don't? Well, I, I, I guess there must be an objective. No, no, truth. don't guess. I, Tell I, me, I do you see, believe or not? I see subjective Hello. truth everywhere. Do you not see objective truth at all? Well, I'll tell you what I did see the other week. I was, okay. watch, I was, watching, uh, I was watching Fox News, right? And uh, it's Of all the news in the, in the exactly, world. Exactly, exactly, yeah. I don't know why I did, but I did. Okay, go on. But it struck me that there's, there's, there's no difference between Fox News and CNN. They're exactly the yeah. same. They're just kind of commenting on the wall through their perspectives. Yeah. But who's right and who's wrong? CNN have got no no uh, no right to say Fox are wrong. And Fox have got no right to say CNN are wrong, but they're both on completely opposing... Yeah, but news can be right or wrong. We don't well, deny that. It's going through their filter. It's going through their perspective. They're, they're commentating on the world as they see it. But who's right and who's wrong? No, it's but completely there, subjective. But there, there are instances where... For, for example, if they're reporting on, say, an, uh, an earthquake in Japan, both of them reporting, you cannot say who's wrong or who's right if they have video evidence for you. Well, they, they come through their That's filter. They come through their filter. They're, they're well, whatever it is, if, they're, if, if you have multiple reports of an earthquake well, happening in, in Japan, the yes? And we, all, and we all died. But Another report will say that plate tectonics yeah. stuck and exactly. Exactly. It's, it's exactly. not a circus. We are talking about, we're talking about an earthquake. I don't think okay. you can have a neutral kind of event because it's always got to go through the filter of whoever's seen. No, but then where do you, you, where do you stop? Well, right, let me finish. Yeah, where do you draw the line about reality and unreal? Hold on, let me, let me finish. That because because we we put energy and meaning into stuff so we're really experiencing ourselves aren't we because everything has energy that we put into it we make it something what we make it is what it becomes it's kind of impossible what do you mean energy what do you mean you put literally. energy i don't understand well, you, it's kind of everything you everything you see you put some energy and meaning into it you make it something it's impossible to see anything because you're telling stories about everything that happens to you right? you look back and are you saying that you do not believe anything that you see I'm not saying I don't believe things that I see, but I... I what do you mean you're putting energy? I don't I, understand what I, you mean I create by that. a story. We all create No, no, we're not talking about, things we are not about arbitrary, random things. I'm saying if you see something, for example, do you have children? No. Do you have parents? Parents? Yeah. I think I do have parents. Yeah. I mean, are they alive? That's what I meant. Uh, yes. Yeah? So, if, do, you, do you believe they're your parents? 
from his experience. This has gone away from the, the point we were just making. No, it is because I'm telling you about objective it's truth. Like wait, wait, wait. I'm telling you about objective truth. No one here will deny that they came from. What's that? Yeah, they came from a male and a female. Yeah. No one will deny that, yeah. okay? So what I'm saying is that there are certain truths which are objective. No one should, no one can deny. But if you're going to question, wait, wait, wait. If you're going to question each and everything that you see as being subjective, how do you learn if you don't let, ask let questions? Me, you ask me. How do we learn you if you don't? Did I tell you not to ask questions? You but I'm asking you. Know. What I'm saying is, do is not. not to question no, 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 no. When did I say don't question anything? Believe it all. That's what you just said. Don't be silly. Don't, I didn't you, say that. You just asked. I said, do not ask silly questions. Don't ask silly questions that you exist or not. You just asked me about energy and meaning. Let me explain. Let me explain what I mean by that. So bend down, Junior. Anything that happens. on my knees. What would you like me to do next? Let's let's get down on your knees and see how you. Okay. What I'm. What is it? You got me on my knees, you filthy pig. Oh, is that the only way you perceive? Wow. Your brain is perverted. So every time, any time a person gets on his knees, it has to involve sex. For what would it involve because he's a pervert. What would it involve? Just you? prove that you're a pervert. What would it involve with you? I don't know. Sitting down on your knees. Sitting. You're, <laughs> you're an idiot. If you think up. the only person who gets on his knees down, is for gorgeous. sex, what an idiot. Okay, so now Very back. Precious. You know that's why we don't talk you're to him really because he's pervert. Because he's a pervert. You're an intellectual powerhouse. Hey, you're just a pervert. Really Doesn't matter intellectual, intellectual or not. So anyway, by the way, look. I think we have we have exhausted. The, the discussion here. Well, you He's got five microphones. You He's just question. jealous. He doesn't have any. No one records him, you know, in the park. Five microphones. You know why no one records him? Because he's always been a poet. Just oh no, you asked me a question about energy and meaning, right? Through the curtains. What I meant by that is, you know, we we think back about experiences and events, things like this, and we we can't help but tell ourselves a story about it. We can't see it neutrally. It's a neurolinguistic program. I recommend you read. Why don't you shut up? Somebody's talking you. Read a bit of NLP. You will learn about social energy science. Energy Let's carry on somewhere else. Because we've got an you idiot here. And I don't want to. Is that really worth it? No, but NLP. Just read a bit of basic NLP. <laughs> Get on your knees. You will learn a lot. No. Get on your knees. <laughs> Let's ignore that idiot. And we'll move down here. Slow down. You're right. Sorry, we didn't even... You're busy. You're busy at work. NLP. Are you following me like a puppy? Yes. fluent in Mandarin and he went out to China to start a business for him. so I ended up losing everything but like the business oh, no. taken over by um, the Chinese okay. and the whole thing went boss side anyway I ended up losing like uh, six figures of my own money oh dear and um, it fucking hurt I mean losing that kind of money hurts it hurts like you go through I can imagine yeah, yeah. Shit. but what I did was I found a few years later that I could change the story I was telling myself a really disempowering story that I like I just told you I invested in this venture in China it went pop I lost all my money it's a really painful and disempowering story to tell myself so I, I changed the story and I started telling myself the story that I gave which I did I gave different that feels it's a really so you can you oh, can oh, yeah it, it's um it's a really empowering story there giving six figures away giving 100 grand of, yeah. uh, of money away it feels really good it's empowering it's empowering but you still know the reality right it hasn't changed the reality has it but the point is it's it, it's a neutral event but it can't be a neutral event i've always got to tell myself the story about what happened but my Empowering one. You haven't changed the reality, have you? What you have just done is you have somehow, uh, I don't know, reconciled your conscience with the fact that you have lost that money, but now you have, in order for you to be at peace, you have changed the narrative. By you, by you changing, no, 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 no. By you changing the, by you, by you changing the narrative and calling a loss as charity doesn't change the fact that it's still a loss. But it makes me feel better. Exactly my point. So what you have done is in order for you to feel better, in order for your yeah. peace of mind, 
you change the narrative, but, the, but the reality yeah, hasn't like, changed, has it? I agree, but that's not the point. The point I'm making is you can't just have a neutral event. There's always a story about it. That's my point. That's not true. It is true. That's not true. Like I'm I said, if I if I see video footage of an earthquake happening, it doesn't matter what narrative you change. Yes, I will never say that. Yes, I see an earthquake, I see these buildings collapsing, I see this earth being swallowing the cars, the streets and everything. You cannot deny that thing did not happen. No, no, but what you will do is you'll, you'll have conceived ideas about what it means, an earthquake, and that will come into play. How does that change the fact that earthquake did take place? Because it's a story. It's always going to be a story. What's the name, by the way? Paul. Paul, how does that change the fact doesn't matter what story I spin, what story any newspaper spins or any news media channel example, spins. It wasn't my how, yeah, it's but I'm example. telling you that this but is objective my, reality. You cannot yeah, but deny. But my, yeah, but my point is there's always an energy, a meaning we put into something. You can't just have a neutral event and leave it as it is. No, it is. You're involved. It is. It's part of you. You're going to make a story. My friend, doesn't matter how you spin the story. Ideas that come into play. It's impossible. Okay. Just be neutral. When you, Everything when you, when you see something that is. That's what I mean about by the way, do you believe? that your existence is real or is that a story spun that you believe that you just exist and you have made yourself believe that and that is the reason you exist which one is it do you exist in reality or is your conscious your subconscious I don't know maybe even your conscious mind has told you that you just exist because you tell yourself so well I am I'm aware I'm being I'm, I'm aware do you exist yes good did you convince yourself that you exist? Did I convince myself that yes. I exist? I, I'm just aware I am. Exactly. So it is your reality, right? Yeah. Your existence. You haven't convinced yourself. You know it's your reality. Yeah, but that's not... I mean, that, that's, that's my deeper essence of being. I mean, the way I experience the world, you know, through my, my physical form, my senses, my... my it's not just you like experiencing. My, my mind. It's your family then experiencing. It's your friends experiencing. Way. They all experience you Paul exists. You see what I mean? So it's not just your subjective experience, but it is a, it's something that is objectively proven by other people that you do exist. But I know... You're I not know, a figment of your imagination or somebody else's imagination. But I know what I'm experiencing is, is myself. It's, I'm, I'm experiencing... Yeah, but I'm saying it's beyond that. It's I mean, not just you. Have you seen the, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment? No. Have you not seen that? Was it? Is it a movie? The, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment. Experiment. Do you know what confirmation bias is? Yeah. Confirmation bias, right? You, you, you don't see with your eyes. You see with your brain. Your brain is giving you but Paul, did you just hear what I said? I said your existence is not just experienced by you, but it's experienced by your parents, by your family, by your friends, by me, by this gentleman here. Okay? Yeah. So I wouldn't say that you're a figment of your imagination. I would say you're real. But I'm not saying that. I'm no, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying this is the objective reality which you cannot deny. But you would ask, yeah, but you're asking me how, um, you know, what, what, I, what I believe. No, so I'm asking you what is the objective truth here? That you exist, which you cannot deny, which, well, I know which I your exist. friends cannot I deny, which your parents cannot deny. I know deny. I exist, I know I am, but the way I experience my, 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 my world. Yeah, but that's a different, no, no, well, they're two different things. Well, that's what you're saying. That's no, you're saying. I'm saying what you, that you as an individual, your existence is not just experienced by you, but by others too. Yeah. So I wouldn't call it a subjective experience. I'm not asking you about your feelings. I'm asking you about your, your, your existence. They're experiencing something else. They're not experiencing. No, no, no. They're experiencing Paul. Okay, so I'm looking at when you look yourself in the mirror, and the way I'm looking at you, do we see something different? Yeah. What is different? Oh, absolutely. What absolutely. is different? When I look at myself in the mirror, I'm not I asking about your feelings. Remember, well, no, I, is I, your I, external I, appearance? I know. I know. What okay, I good. see is completely different to what anybody else sees. So what do you see when you see Paul? We're all playing different movies, and I no, no. What do you see when you see Paul in the mirror? The same thing. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Of course, we're seeing different things. Different things. Whoa. Physically, I'll physically, I'm I'll saying say physically. It, I'll, look, I'll say it again. Okay, we are on. experiencing ourselves essentially. You see, once again, let I'm not asking you give me the what you feel. I'm saying, what let do you see? Point. Hear me out, Paul. When you look at yourself in the mirror, I'm not asking you what do you feel inside. That's not my question. So listen to the question. When you see yourself, yes. how do would you would you describe yourself physically different to when I see you? Yes. When I see you, yes. or when the people yes. who are watching you yes. on, on, on a video yeah, see you. Okay, so physically, how are you different? 
I'm different. How? I'm, I've seen people in the mirror. I've seen people. I'm asking people. about you. About, forget about other people. Well, I'm making the point. I'm answering the question. Yeah. In, in, in yourself, about yourself. Are you talking about the differentiation between using yourself in the mirror as like a mirrored uh, version of yourself compared to what we see? So when you see yourself in the mirror, you're seeing a reflection of yourself. You're both what? Both. Both what? Yeah. I mean, I'm physically, your appearance. Even, even physically. No, no, physically. I've seen reflections of other people in the mirror, and they look different. So when you yeah, but I'm not asking about other so people. Both. I'm asking about you. I know you are. But I'm answering the you question. said you said that it's different to when I see you and when you see see yourself in the mirror. So you should at least point one thing which you see different when you look at yourself in the mirror to what I or anybody else looking at you is, dif is well, different. What is the difference? When you see you well, in the mirror, different. and I see what is you that? in the mirror, if I look at you in the mirror, and you see you in the mirror, I'm looking for the same reflection of what you can see. There's no difference. Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about when you look at yourself in the mirror, when I look at you, you're seeing a mirrored version of yourself? Well, I'm talking about both. Is that the difference? You're well, talking I'm talking about, about both. What do you, what's both. What do you mean by both? But if, if I, I mean, we're, we're playing different moves in our heads, right? So when I no, see... No, we are not. We're talking about physical know, appearance. You see. It's no, you're talking about subjective Okay, Paul, experience. permission to take a picture. Why? Okay. <laughs> is, is that what you see in the mirror when you look right now in the mirror? Or do you see a different Paul? I just took a picture. It looks like me, but it's probably not exactly the same. So what part is different? He doesn't even believe the camera now. I mean, forget me. You know, this is what I wanted to prove about the objective truth. So when you when you're far removed from the reality, this is the point no, no, I'm making. Paul, Paul, this is the point I'm making. That when you look yourself yeah, in the mirror, the wait, wait, wait. We started off having. No, 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 no. We are talking about we are talking about objective this truth. Remember? Thomas making. No, it was a point. You said every truth can be subjective. That was your point initially. And, and I told you, and I told you there are many example, things. But you, you yeah. won't let me make the example. No, I did let, let you make many you examples, in fact. Conversation down another lane. So you're saying you look you look different there. Yeah. What part is different? Yeah. Which part is different? Why do you believe that? There's a lot different. Which is different? But th this is not the conversation we were having. But is this objective truth that you look like this or you don't? I, not the conversation we were having. Can you answer the question, please? Well, it's, it's not the to have. It's not because the you to seem to having. deny even your own reflection no. in a mirror or in a picture. No. No. You just said that is not you. That is not you. Look different. No, I didn't say that. I said it looks like me. That's what I said. So you when are, you say like you, me, you said is that exactly you? And so I is that Paul or is that somebody else? Well, it looks like me. No, 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 but is that Paul or is it somebody else? But why are we having this conversation? See what I mean? This is not the conversation. When you deny objective yeah. truth, yeah, you know, then you will you will deny. Man. Look, look. What I want to demonstrate here, you will deny your own self when you deny objective realities. Which is like a picture of yourself, which I took a few a minute ago, actually. Yes, and was, yet you denied. I was denied. going to tell you about the guy in the gorilla suit exposed. Okay, go on, tell me. Confirmation bias. Yeah, go on, tell me about so the guy. We don't gorilla. see with our eyes; we see with our brain, right? And the brain, confirmation bias, it gives us information that proves we're right. Okay, that's confirmation bias. Not in everything. Yeah. So not in everything. The, the guy in the gorilla suit experiment, right? Yeah. They did an experiment on they had two groups of people throwing a basketball to each other, and they had people watching and monitoring, and they asked them to count how many times the basketball was thrown. The one group of people wearing white shirts to another group of people wearing black shirts. And they did. They, 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 uh, they, they counted. At the end of the experiment, 